Hi. So we have connected now. Nice to meet you, they call me easygoing and this is just a song. song. A story. A movie. A dream. You can call it whatever you like. By the way, may I ask you a question, maybe you think what the fuck I'm saying when I already asked you a question, well, just kidding. Anyway, how's your weather? Yeah, not the weather, but your weather. I mean, how you feel usually and how that is shown through all your circumstances and relationships. I don't know, but maybe you already got tired of trying to change the reflection in the mirror. Do you follow me? Well, don't do it or else I'll call the cops. Oh, don't mind me. I'm excited to talk to you, that's all. Yeah. Easy going. My dear, is the way that water flows, the manner the air moves, and the clouds in the sky. The natural, you see, easygoing, flowing a fountain of water, where its forms changes constantly, yet in its essence remains always the same water, the parts and the all being only one thing at once. Like a wave from the oceanic water, or as a leaf from a never-ending tree. Or perhaps like a human, being a fractal of this multidimensional universe that can be seen as a vibrational ocean in which the human avatar is a transmitter-receiver of frequencies. A walkman or a radio woman, we could say. Comprehending then that what one usually emits in thoughts and feelings is what one receives in persons and experiences. Implying that the way one sees, feels or defines something is the way how one experiences or lives it. That's why, before the same subject or issue, different people with diverse mindsets experiences it in a different manner. Now, it is clear that reviewing our definitions or beliefs is a very healthy suggestion, as we find and focus ourselves on the positive or beneficial aspect that always exists in everything we live or encounter in life. Thus we go giving a positive meaning to things, relationships or situations that, therefore, will experience in a satisfying and constructive manner. Samely, it's great and also necessary, if we really want to feel good and be ourselves to the fullest, to drop those definitions, labels or qualifications that don't serve us anymore. One can know and feel easily that a belief is negative, afflictive or resistant in nature because it usually is experienced, felt and carried as a heavy burden that, for the rest, don't belong to us, for obviously it's not in alignment with our own core vibration and that's why it feels bad and discordant, not natural of oneself. On the other hand, 
You mostly know very well what you like, what you love, what you enjoy the most. It's natural for you being and doing what you truly love, like or prefer, kind of the path of least resistance for you. Isn't it? You go on your own stream. Naturally following your passion, your bliss, your joy, the fun, creativity and love, the highest excitement available to you at any given moment, letting go any kind of control and expectations regarding any possible outcome, for that tension or insistence is like going countercurrent from yourself, which it feels hard and unnecessary. Indeed, once you know that feeling good no matter what happens, is what takes care of everything, you let yourself flow more and more naturally, easily, in fact becoming more and more resolute, unwrapped or easygoing, in this way that we are expressing throughout this whole encounter. And now that you are relaxing and floating down this stream of pure bliss and joy, put your ass in a way that let you just, oh, well, do, fuck. How wonderfully amusing, good, really good, and to you good day, and to you good day yet, and are you refreshed? Now what? Who's this? Me. Some issue with your sphincters, my friend? Uh, not at all. It was utterly intended and aware on my part. Well, that's a good exercise in lucidity, no doubt. I got more if you like it. I appreciate your kindness on that, but certainly we are closing the song right now. Oh, I understand. Thank you nevertheless. Maybe next time. Yes, maybe next time.